being active is practically a religion here in San Diego, but people who suffer a major injury can sometimes lose faith. My co-anchor Jared Aaron shows how doctors at Scripps Health are on a mission to use a new knee surgery method and get people back on the court. Tatum Vetter loves volleyball. I learned when I was 10, played club mostly up until I was like 16, played high school, then played beach volleyball in high school as well. Which is why she tells me one moment in 2019 was devastating when the game she loved brought her so much pain. I went up to hit on the outside, came down on my left leg like I always do, and then basically upper leg went right, lower leg went left, heard a snap. Um, it's almost louder than it felt. It was an ACL and meniscus tear with damage to her femur and cartilage, all threatening her ability to ever play the game again. Tatum needed three surgeries over the next two years, but her recovery never really went the way she wanted it to. On a scale of one to 10, she says her pain was consistently an eight or a nine. I mean, the simplest tasks were really a struggle, like going from my car to my house, like carrying the groceries, pushing a grocery cart, the things that you wouldn't think or that you typically like take for granted uh, were really brutal. And then I met Dr. Wang. That's Dr. Tim Wang at Scripps Clinic, a different hospital than where her first three surgeries happened. We have these solutions for really problems that had no solution or other treatment before. Dr. Wang and his colleague, Dr. Bill Bugby, had been at the forefront of a new way of doing knee surgery called osteochondral allograft transplants. Instead of several surgeries over time, they operate on the damaged ligaments and bones all at once and patch damage in the cartilage that could lead to long-term pain or arthritis. If it's in just one small area, those are areas that we can treat with these cartilage transplant type procedures. Treating the knee as an organ, uh, taking care of all those things things together would give her the, the best uh, predictable um, outcome and likelihood of success. Doctors at Scripps have done more than 1,200 of these procedures over the last few years. The surgery is geared towards younger patients who could still have a long active life ahead of them. And Dr. Wang says most get back to nearly 90% of their physical activity. The best part of my job is to see how our patients do from you know the beginning uh, to the end and, and see how happy they are and how active they are afterwards. Tatum knows she may still need a knee replacement eventually, but the surgery took the pain away and took her back to the game she loves. It was exciting. It was like awesome to hear that I could play again and that I could surf too. And if I hadn't had surgery, I don't think I would be playing right now. In Mission Beach, Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.